Hello again. Here is a probability question involving the normal distribution. We've got a large school. Mean mark is 47. So the mean is 47. The top 10% scored 85 or higher. Assuming they're normally distributed, find the standard deviation. One decimal place. Grants it. Okay. It's a normal distribution. Pictures. I love pictures. Here we go. Let's draw what we've got here. We've got the mean is 47. So there's my mean. Oops. And 10% get 85 or higher. So here's the 85 mark. And fair or higher, that is 10%. And it's a normal distribution. That's what they're telling us. We have to find the standard deviation of that lot. So this is one where we find the percent. You have to, again, I draw a picture. You don't absolutely have to, but you know, I love a picture here. And, and I draw very bad pictures, as you can see. But anyway, it's a picture nonetheless. And this time, this is the Z, the standardized normal distribution, which is related to our distribution, except that the standardized one has a mean of zero and a standard deviation of 1. But we do get a corresponding Z value. That percentage in the air, in, in the, not in the air, in there, will be the same, 10%. Okay, that is how our standardized normal relates to our normal distribution. We get a corresponding Z value for, for that 85 mark. Okay, let's do it. The way that Z's and our x's, if you like, which are the, that's the, those are our x's in our normal distribution, are related, is with the equation that you will be familiar with, z equals x minus no, sigma. So far in this equation, what we've got is, well, we don't know the z bit. We know the x bit, it's 85. We know the mean bit, it's 47. And we don't know that. So we just have to work out the z and then we have an equation we can solve for standard deviation. The Z comes from your calculator. It has a whole heap of memory and it just knows all the values for all the different percentages and all that stuff. So in your calculator, off to the statistics part, and then we do a calc. And we're going to calc an inverse distribution, inverse because we know the percentage. And we're looking for an inverse normal CD, which is exactly what we've got here. Oops, there were others. No, inverse normal CD. Go to the next. You'll see it. It is the default situation, is the standardized normal. That is, with a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one, the probability is 10% or 0.1. The tail we want, well, clearly, if you, you can see from the picture, the tail we want is, is the right tail. And let me just find out what that is. And it is 1.2816. So over here, 1.2816. We just got to solve this for the standard deviation. Um, I'll do two things at once. I will multiply both sides by the standard deviation and divide both sides by 1.2816. So you get that. So it's 85 minus 47. 2816. Oops, slow down. 2816. And that comes to, I'll do that on the calculator, 85 minus 47. We should be able to do that in our head, shouldn't we? 85 minus 47, that'll be 38. Thirty-eight. Divided by one point two eight one six. That is twenty-nine point eight one six. Again, as always, reading the questions very carefully. One decimal place. Twenty-nine point seven. And that is.
variation. That's that one all done. 